Relief tonight for a woman living with a debilitating disorder. The bank that was going to put her out of a home has now put her eviction on hold. Good evening, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. And I'm Ann Craig. I'm in for Ann Nyberg tonight. This woman is living with cerebral palsy, and for a number of reasons, she missed several payments. News 8's Jocelyn Mementa sat down with her today. She has her back tonight with more on her story. Living with cerebral palsy has taken a toll on Sandra Weiler, also a recent cancer survivor. Compounding all that, her fight to keep the house, which she renovated to meet her physical challenges. I have nowhere to go. Sandra's bank, Wells Fargo, sent her an eviction notice after missed payments, due in part to her declining health followed by a series of miscommunication and her then lawyer moving out of the state unexpectedly. At some point she had the money, uh, it, you know, and it was a th at first a thousand dollars short and then two hundred dollars short and then when she went to pay it both times they were instead of taking it and say just write us another check they they rejected the 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 uh, the tender and um, she was kind of stuck. Lewis Chimes is her current attorney. The money she did have paid medical bills after losing state coverage. But there is reason to celebrate. So, but the good news is right now, uh, things are going to be on hold. Wells Fargo issued this statement. We do what we can to keep our customers in their homes whenever possible and have canceled the eviction originally set for September 26 while we look into this matter. I am really grateful. The former daycare owner has a Ph.D. and is a special ed teacher, still teaching once a week at Southern Connecticut State University. Her home is her sanctuary. It made me more ind independent. I could do much more on my own. Sandra's struggle has led people to reach out to her. I will admit I, I cried all day yesterday because people that I don't even know will call me. That phone call with Wells Fargo could happen by the end of the week. The goal is to work out a way to keep Sandra in her home. And we'll get Jocelyn Momenta, News 8.